Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I told you guys I'm between England and France and I have keep knocking the small stand. So we're back to face to face. <laughs> I can't deal with the small stand. Um, usually I do the overhead thing, but this small stand, I keep losing videos because I keep knocking the stand. So hope you don't mind. Um, I've got a competition running at the moment. You'll find the details in um, the community section. So if you're subscribed, just go onto the channel. It's for a £200 gift card and you'll find the information at the top of the community section. I'll leave, as always, my information on how to contact me for personal readings and my other services in the description box, never on a comment. Um, I just seen, I think it was the Scorpio video, or the Sagittarius video, they're trying to comment a witch doctor again. I'm in the UK, well, at the moment I'm in Paris, but I'm from the UK. My phone number isn't um, from any other country, it's a UK number. Um, but I don't give it, obviously, until we have personal readings. Okay, guys, sorry for <laughs> the long intro. Um, let's see what we have going on for Pisces. Um, I hate that you guys can't see the cards. Um, but let go of control issues, let your friends help you, and chemistry. So a lot, Gemini season really called for us to be social. So you might be pulled to spending time with friends and just wanting to have a good time and uh, you know, just release a lot of energy, which is great. Um, feeling good during cancer season at this point. Um, I definitely feel like this choice is yours just to let go and embrace the good energy and just let go of all the negative energy here. So we'll see um, in this soulmate connection what's going on. Somebody is attracted to you like a magnet here. But you might be wanting to spend time with your friends and, you know, just forget all those bad times. That's what Gemini season called for, right? So Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Didn't even mean to pull that many cards, but they came, so we'll take them. <laughs> um, King of Pentacles, the Moon and the Ten of Swords, which came out with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Three people here. Hope these are your friends, <laughs> not your romantic partners. Um, it might be that you're in a third party situation or was betrayed in this sort of way. Somebody was keeping this a secret, another person. Um, but during this time, I feel like you're just recouping this energy, this love for yourself, following your intuition um, because you're ascending through this, uh, whatever this betrayal was. We've seen this Ten of Swords come out and what it is is the resolution to difficult times. So getting over all those difficult times, getting over those betrayals and starting to feel like yourself again. Just remember not to let your kind, loving nature to be taken advantage of. Remember to be a little bit Queen of Swords when the time calls. It's healthy boundaries. It's not, um, you know, that bee energy. People like to call the Queen of Swords the bee female dog if you get me we can't say it because of youtube but um you guys get me sometimes you need to be that right though um and i see you becoming much more of a king of pentacles energy during cancer season that um if you're wanting to start a new career go ahead and do that this is beautiful money energy for you guys um but this might be an earth sign coming towards you i think cancer just had this earth sign coming towards them as well um, so remember what you learn here, okay? Remember this ascension, remember these healthy boundaries so we don't end up here because now you're getting over and letting go of these difficulties, right? So we want the energy to still keep flowing positive towards you. Neptune is retro retrograde in Pisces. Uh, Mercury's just gone direct, so communication will be much more clear now and people will be wanting to express their feelings with the Queen of Cups. So just be aware. It might be a time that you just focused on friends and close family. 
things like that just to let go of those people who are not serving you yeah you're really looking forward to new beginnings with the world card here but this is opening up new doors for you so new people do want to come into your life uh, maybe even new friends here um, a new job this is endless possibilities the thing with manifesting right if you're trying to manifest uh, with this card we can only manifest what it is we know because we manifest through feelings um, but the universe wants to bring you all kinds of blessings so it might be that this letting go and saying you know universe divine bring me whatever it is you want me to have and I'm grateful I'm thankful for it I'm embracing um, because I feel like this is love offers coming your way as well once you let go of what was what can be comes into view very quickly because i don't think it's in view yet um because of the moon here so this is something still to be revealed um not a negative because it says we're over the difficult times with the ten of swords here so this is something beautiful ready to be revealed to you this offer this is an offer to grow together to build together you know sometimes we have a love connection that's deep and meaningful and can be a spiritual catalyst because of this betrayal but you know we really feel them in our psyche but it ends up ending and going wrong here and we have to work hard to let go because now we've rebuilt ourselves and we want these new things that are worthy of us now we have our healthy boundaries in place right i feel like some of you may have had secrets or traumas or pains betrayals in you from childhood that need to that was triggered by this and it's very difficult because i feel needing to let go of not only a relationship but all this that was brought to the surface with the moon those hurts and those betrayals that maybe even from a mum or a female relative something like that um, of course not forgetting males um you know it's not always the mum but it was triggered by this third party that we can see these king and two queens here um so this brought to the surface you know how you'd been treated maybe all your life or why you have these abandonment issues why you was ex uh, accepting below par relationships all these things this is major healing this is going deep within to those dark places we don't want to go because we feel like okay i've already passed those places you know that's in the past i don't want to drag it up but this moon you know lit up and really illuminated that what was you know dark and deep and hurting within you here um by this third party situation or by this person um so i feel like now where you felt it was once scary to go and once painful to go you're realizing that this is releasing this energy it's letting it go right not carrying it with you anymore so we can see a new you emerging a more beautiful you um you haven't forgotten how to be kind to people and loving and generous to people you've just learned how to be loving and kind with healthy boundaries to yourself so you're rebuilding yourself with the three of pentacles but there's somebody coming in to make this love offer here somebody to build with you um which is beautiful we want to see people we can build with right the wheel of fortune do you see how amazingly this turns around now that this fortune favors you where you, it was once scary to go your blessings was on the other side of it so we can now see you receiving your blessings when you let go um spending time with friends and family meeting new people new connections transformation uh, maybe meeting a scorpio here um this change and this death process that you went through you now understand why it was so necessary and this might be letting go of somebody forever with this ten of swords um but it's definitely a change in the energy to what you've been experiencing you know up until now and that's what we want to see this beautiful change in energy to bring you good fortune to bring you genuine love offers that's no longer a lesson it's a blessing oops <laughs> well they both jumped out and i want to tell you what it is marriage 
it's your forever person making you this offer. It's your forever person. And what did I say? No more lesson, lessons. This is a blessing. So the longer we hold on to these things and out of fear, this is fear, out of fear that we're going to miss out on something that's meant for us, mm -mm. it changes your world and brings in this person, Pisces. Don't forget to invite me to the wedding. Good luck, guys.